Teachers and students throughout Monroe County use educational technology daily to explore subjects across the curriculum. At Dundee Community Schools, it provides students of all ages with new ways to engage their learning. In Emily Thompson's first grade classroom, students lead their peers every day with the help of an interactive smart board. During morning meeting, we try to really have kids touch on some curriculum things like counting, um, the calendar, shapes and patterns. So we use the smart board for kids to run morning meetings so that they're in charge of it and kind of feeling the leadership role in the classroom. But then they go through all of those things. So there's a money slide um, where kids identify coins, um, count the number of school days we've had, um, skip counting, identifying shapes, all of those kind of little things we just like to get them warmed up for, for the day. Later in the day, students work independently with technology within a framework known as Daily Five. Daily Five is kind of like our language and literacy block um, in rotations, and the kids use technology in a lot of different ways. They were using iPads for word work, where they scan the QR code and it pulls up a word and the kids were writing that sight word that we're working on on a sheet and then if they got all the sight words they use those words in sentences. Um, it's just an interactive way for them to practice their sight, reading their sight words and writing. Listening to reading is one of the parts of Daily Five, so listening on a CD player, sometimes we use iPods, and then they were also scanning QR codes that were on books, taped onto books that we have, and listening to the story read to them actually by the author. So my next project in the classroom is getting, instead of just listening to authors read stories online, is actually getting staff members to read stories as well as parents to read stories. So that involves parents just recording their voice, reading a story sent home to them, and then they send that back to me. I can make it a QR code, tape it right on a book, and then not only is that building up my library of books to listen to over the years, but it's also allowing parents to read their kids' stories in class, which they just love. Adding a little bit of technology here and there really allows the kids to interact in a different way and they're excited about doing the activities while I'm able to work with a small group of kids on really specific skills. At higher levels, Dundee students use personal computers in various classes to complete projects and access new learning tools. We have a classroom set of Google Chromebooks, which are super fast, little tiny laptops basically, but everything is run on a Google system, so it works really well with Google Classroom and basically anything that's on the, the web students have access to. So we use those for all kinds of things and one of the things that I really like is the video lectures because I'm able to import questions into there based on the video content. What I've seen since starting those is students can go back who maybe don't get things just one time from listening and you can actually track and see which students are rewinding and listening over and over again. You'll see students as many as four times rewatch a section of video and then they're able to get those questions right. So when I stand up and lecture, which I still do, I think sometimes I go too fast and this really allows the students to individualize the content and uh, for me to gauge their learning on an individual basis because every single student is answering questions listening to the same thing but at a different pace based on their needs. We do a lot of games, we do Kahoot, we do quizzes, uh, there's many virtual labs that we do that with chemicals that I might not have access to. So it's just really the technology has allowed me to engage students in fun things that uh, they, you know, they love their phones, they love their technology, and now they're getting to use it for learning instead of just for, you know, playing Candy Crush Saga or whatever they're doing. So it's just taking those things that they love and, and, and using it for education. With the Chromebooks in the classroom, it has totally changed how I teach. I've had to relearn how to teach. You're more managing what they're doing, and you're finding things to challenge where they're at because a lot of the stuff can be adaptive to where they're at. I think it's in some ways more difficult as a teacher trying to figure out you know, what I can use best for each kid, but it's also made it much more exciting for the kids because they love using the technology and they love seeing that. And that's where the world goes. Every person's job in the world has a computer at some point in it. 
In his enrichment class, Mike Cole has given motivated middle schoolers a genius hour, time to research and pursue their own interests, often using the classroom Chromebooks. To begin with, they were really thrown off because they've never been told, you can learn what you want to learn. They've always been told, you must learn this, this, and this. And so it's been really neat to watch. Some of them have made apps. Some of them have made uh, YouTube videos on don't bully, don't, do, don't smoke. I've had kids that made educational games. I've had kids that um, learn how to make a homemade rocket. Like those girls that invented an app, they learned so much and they, both of them said, I want to design, I want to do this for a living. And you know, and I saw the boys that were inventing, doing the rocket, they could really learn the scientific process through doing that. And so it opens up opportunities for them to really explore what interests them and what really they care about. Dundee Middle School students also use technology to produce fun and informative news and announcement videos that serve the entire school community. I'm Brooklyn. And I'm Sydney. <laughs> and this is the weather. One of the biggest concerns we hear from the community is communication between the school and the community and within the student population about what's happening amongst peers. So the students are actually filmed doing uh, the announcements for the school. What's happening in the building, what's happening outside of the building as far as academics, as far as clubs, as far as athletics. So there's six different groups here in the class and each group is assigned uh, certain tasks. Uh, so for the news they have to go down to the office and find out what news there is for that week. For sports they have to contact through email uh, different coaches throughout our district to make sure that we have all the sports up to date. Weather, they have to go online to weather.com and find the weather for the upcoming week. With each group, they have six slides to put together. They uh, are all on Chromebooks or Netbooks, but on top of that, uh, I allow them to use an iPad to uh, project the script that they make. And so as they are reading the news at a table, they have another person in the group holding the iPad as the script. And so that way they can read it rather than looking down at a piece of paper. And finally, we use uh, the camera to film not only the news, but with transitions. I allow them to walk around the school and interview students and teachers and teach them how to actually use a camera. So there's a lot that they have to do in each group, but I make sure that they're rotated so that way they're not stuck doing the same thing for 12 weeks. Kids pay more attention to kids than they do adults. So if I'm on the PA system reading from a script that's sent down to me every day, the kids may or may not even listen to it. But if the TV's on in front of them and they see some of their peers up there doing silly stuff and kind of giving uh, them information or stats or data, um, they're more likely to pay attention and, and get that, that uh, verbiage home. Now the audience watches it through uh, the S drive here at our school, the student drive. They go on there and open up a document that holds every single news broadcast. So if a teacher, say, was sick that day and they weren't able to show it to their class, they'd be able to show it on a Tuesday rather than a Monday. We teach bell to bell. So if you stop everybody at the exact same time, it's definitely not going to be convenient. So the neat thing about the way we do the announcements now is any teacher can access it and pull it up through the computer system at any time during the day where they feel it's most convenient for the students and the staff. Every day we're challenged with how to make schools better. Every day we're challenged with how to communicate better, and I think this is a step in the right direction. We have to reach out to students in a way that, you know, they're used to technology in their lives all the time, and they use it for fun. There's a part of me that resisted this, I guess, initially, because, you know, you want them to turn off their phone, sit in their seat, listen, read, write, all the same things we did in school growing up. But I think we kind of have to change the way that we think, and instead of saying, the technology as the enemy, we just have to, we have to harness it, we have to use it, we have to uh, buy into it and get them to learn with it instead of just playing with it.